uh, YouTube. This is an angry, confused review for the Arsenal photo camera assistant, whatever it is. Um, it was a waste of money. The way they made the video look, the way they did the video, the way they promoted it, amazing. Like, I got hyped when I saw it. And I didn't, this was last year, or late last year, and I kept ignoring it. It was always on my feed. And um, so I started doing photography. So I mean, I'm not good at because I didn't take any classes. So I don't know how to do the, the, the settings. And I really don't know what I'm doing until I saw this thing. I'm like, well, it'll do it for me. All I got to do is take pictures. And then I, the pictures are shown in the video. And I'm like, wow, that looks amazing. I want this. I waited this long and I tried using it the first day. I mean, it's a lot of bugs. I don't understand what the hell it is that they did that took him this long to delay. Oh, yeah, and that's the reason why they showed it. I don't know what happened because I got mine from Hong Kong. Everybody's getting boxed from FedEx. I got myself a little box, a little piece of junk, but I don't even know where it's at. But I have a little, it came from Hong Kong. Why? Is that the reason why it was delayed? I don't know because they banned me on their Facebook, social media, even on Instagram. They blocked me because of what I had to say because I was calling them out on their bullshit. So if you're watching this Arsenal, it is what it is, dude. Though, so, oh, and they also don't respond to me on email because I guess I'm aggressive. But the first message, I, first email I did, yes, I was me. But the other two was because I found loopholes or trying to adjust it, but. As of right now, I just turned it on a little while ago. It actually came on immediately. Last time, last the first two days I had it, um, I had trouble connecting to it. But now I'm actually connected. It's actually, yeah. So it's actually working right now. Anyways, I mean, as far as it connecting, like it's what it's aiming over there. Or let me see. I see a little lag. Let's see now it's aiming on there. But this is a Canon 7D Mark One. <clears throat> I would show you pictures, but I mean, I don't know how to set it up on this, but I'll probably put some pictures or send a link on it to look at the picture. What is actually supposed to do? Because I turned it on, took a picture. It froze multiple times on this. The app closed, shut down multiple times. And at one point it would just keep going blurry. So I had to keep manually adjusting it. And then when I click on the button to take a picture, out of the hundred, I don't know how many times I pressed it, but out of how, oh, out of how many times I press it, because every single time you press it, it looks like it's doing something, nothing would happen. So actually, I can even show you right now. Out of all the pictures I took, let me see. This is the only picture, you can't even see it on here. But, because I tried taking a watch out, because there's an option, and look, <laughs> it crashed. It's, it crashed. So let's try that again. That piece of crap. So you saw that. I didn't touch it. It crashed itself. Okay. So it locked. It, okay, there it goes. So now I'll log back on. You gotta click on this for live view. You hear that? Switched over. So now, let's see. Okay, so now it picks up. So you can see a little lag. I mean, I guess that's how it works. They should have did Bluetooth. I don't know why they did Wi Fi. They should have did Bluetooth connection. I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't know about the technical term for that or why they did that. But okay, so anyways, here it goes. A um, little off track on that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is that they're supposed to do. Like, maybe um, this got, we all got bamboozled as, as far as people who got this because it takes forever to take a shot. It has to focus a lot. It's constantly always focusing. And when you finally take a shot, you finally take a shot. But then, and out of all the times I pressed this, the button for, to take a picture, and it took one shot. I kept pressing it, pressing it, and then it locked up and then all crashed. Um, they got us. Unless, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I mean, I follow the instructions. It's, I mean, I'm a tech geek, so I mean, it's real simple to use. It's just that it's not as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Kind of like the Apple Watch. It's, I thought it was going to do a lot more stuff, but not really. But this one, I the pictures make you like, the way they show the video and the ads, Pictures look amazing. Mine just has a picture of a tree. Like nothing special about it. it didn't focus, it didn't blur out nothing. 
it's just a picture of the tree and that is it just the what what i see is what it took a picture of like it didn't do nothing special so i don't know what exactly is it supposed to do so i went up and just took the assistant off took a picture with just looking at myself no difference oh yeah my bad mine was a little bit darker like a little hint of tint that was the only difference um i really don't know what was the point like, i don't know what i was thinking buying it i thought i was gonna be doing a lot more stuff for me but it, it, it's not worth it i mean it's not bad for i mean i guess it's better than spending over 200 dollars for the wi-fi adapter you could buy for the canon 7d other than that if you already have a wi-fi option on your camera you do not need this it, 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 it it's not it's no it wasn't it's not worth the money but here's the bad news now this is what i am gonna say about arsenal shitty customer service shitty product shitty delivery it's just it, it's not worth the money it, it was a it's i learned my lesson i will i'm not i would get a refund on it but i'm not because Last time I did spend my money on a Kickstarter was for that thing coin. And if you don't know what it is, read up on it. That was a major fail. And this is also a major fail. Unless they figure out what they're going to do, unless they update it. I mean, look at their website. Last time they, they, they have terrible updates. They don't respond to anybody. And they do, it's just, it's just a, it's just like movie pads. They just, they have, all they do is copy and paste the same comments over and over. And they tell lies. And then they block you for calling them out on their lies. So, if you're thinking about buying one, this is my own personal opinion. Do not waste your money. I'm pretty sure there's better products out there. I bought this because I was a sucker. I thought that it was going to do better settings for me. Um, I couldn't tell the difference between what this picture took, what this item took, with using this app because it's I mean like this you can just press smart and it's supposed to do automatic settings and then I took it took the thing off and I just readjusted it clicked on uh, my uh, my option is always um, P or TV on as far as far as the options on this little adjustment I mean I don't know what I'm doing but you know the basic stuff and I took a picture the only difference was theirs was just a little brighter my own's a little bit darker you couldn't really tell I did like the way mine looked. Maybe I don't know. I just kind of like the way mine looked. I'm pretty sure if you if I took both pictures, scrambled it without me knowing which was which, I would probably just choose the dark one just because I like the I like the way it looked darker. As far as using this, it does kind of wash it out a bit. Um, while trying to use it, it did constantly go out of focus and it would just stick there. And then when you keep pressing to take a picture, it wouldn't take a picture. And even on the button, it will show like the like the screen will flicker. But it wouldn't take a picture um no i don't recommend it i don't know what anybody else is saying if anybody else is, is approving it i mean there's a lot of people saying that that there's a lot of people saying that there's that oh there's bugs the bugs that's normal no you you had a lot of time so to fix this and it's a, it's a you know my option my question is how did you make it look like it was so easy to use as opposed to me all of this is you plug it here, you plug it there, make sure it's charged up, connect it to your phone, and that's it. Doesn't work that way. You have to, what I found out is, I have to go to my Wi-Fi settings on my phone, connect connect directly to this, this signal right here, and once I pick that up, then I can go open the app, and then it will connect automatically. If not, it will just keep saying, um, uh, it will say, do you want to join? Yes, and when I connect to join, it waits a second it tells me cannot join and it will say something like sony camera which i don't know why sony camera when mine's a canon 7d but i i don't know um if you have any tips or maybe i'm doing something wrong hit me up on the bottom leave me a message um i don't recommend it man not at all it was a major waste of money but I'm going to keep this as a reminder. To, if I ever see anything on Kickstarter again on my feed, and I'm like, oh, wow, that looks cool. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to be like, nope. Don't do it. Do not give them your money. Because this, at the coin, and now this, I will never, ever spend my money on Kickstarter ever again. I will wait, and I will pay the full price if the item works. This item does not work. It I don't know what it is supposed to do because I can't tell the difference, man. 
So if you're a photographer or you, you're somebody out there that has it, hit me up, send me a video, tell me, show me what I did wrong. Because I, I, don't, I don't understand what the hell I'm supposed to do because my pictures look nowhere as cool as the, as the ones advertised because I'm lost to it. So anyways, thank you. Let me know. You have a good one.